there's a handyman hint. You have all different kinds of screw heads. You know, you got the slot head, you've got the star-shaped or Phillips screw head, you have the square hole, or as we call it in Canada, the Robertson screw head. You even have some of these machine screws that take an Allen key head on them. But for all these different screw heads, I recommend the flat head. <laughs> Remember, any tool can be the right tool. <laughs> The medical crisis is over. We got ourselves a doctor. Oh, great. Who'd you get? The guy who answered the ad. <laughs> Check out the resume, Harold. Got him from Port Asbestos. Are we stealing their doctor? No, no, he wasn't practicing uh, medicine in Port Asbestos. He was a bartender. <laughs> but look, he's got a medical degree. Signed by Sally Struthers. <laughs> yeah, so? Well, oh, well, look at this. He was, he was eight years at a tropical resort. Club Tana Banana. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm sure those resort doctors treat a great variety of illnesses. Well, he was a lifeguard. <laughs> All right, well, look, he's got other degrees, VCR repair, furnace renovations. So what's that got to do with anything? He probably makes house calls. <laughs> Harold! Harold, man, are you okay? Harold! Whoa! Oh, man, I had no idea it was going to do that after I lit it. But, man, you should have <laughs> seen it. It went real good. Rocketed right over your head. You should have seen it. Well, you didn't see it, but, man, it went, it went, well, it went to the other side of the lake. <laughs> but you're okay, right, Harold? Come on, man, talk to me. How do you make your eyes go like that? <laughs> Harold? All right, here it is. Good old Bill and his barbecue special. Tenderize the meat a little bit there and got the weenies out. That's them for sure, right there. <laughs> and he's gonna do some barbecue. You know, I don't think Bill's done any barbecuing for a while. He put the briquettes in there, and he puts the uh, starter on there, and I'm thinking, boy, you know, you can tell when a fella hasn't barbecued for a while. And he has his own special, what is that? 10W30, in case we have a cold snap. <laughs> Throws that on there, and he's even got the uh, paraffin-soaked uh, nitro fires. The reason I knew he hadn't barbecued for a while is that this is actually a propane barbecue, and you know that stuff. You just turn the gas on there, and then there's, uh, I'm trying to explain, there's some controls on the side, and actually, you've got the two burners, so you can control either either burner anyway. So Bill kind of, he's a, more of a doer than a thinker. Boy, that, boy, that propane's got a, what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 well, no, no, turn it, turn it off at the tank, Bill. Turn it, you just, un, just turn that, turn that, turn it, oh, oh. oh. Um, all right, uh, um, oh, no, no, Bill, spark, Bill, spark, spark. Later that day, uh, Bill and I are wondering where the barbecue is. Oh, there's the table. And uh, there's weenies as far as the eye can see now. Oh, uh, stuff's dropping out of the sky. What's that? What's that? What is that? A strange bird-like thing dropping. Oh, no, that's a barbecue lid. Uh, all right, we got to put your everything back. Oh, boy. Oh, that's rare. Well, certainly not well done, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. Gar's gonna take a deer out of his house. Well, our new doctor arrived and set up his practice in town. He he rented the old uh, Mr. Tasty Freeze stand. You know the, the big Mr. Tasty Freeze up on the roof there? You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That little fat man holding the butterscotch sundae. Right. Yeah. That sundae is now a bedpan. <laughs> and he really couldn't afford a new sign, so from now on, we're just gonna call him Dr. Tasty Freeze. <laughs> yes, but Dr. Tasty Freeze couldn't afford any medical equipment because he sold it all to put himself through bartending college. Now he has to use all the equipment that was left over at the Tasty Freeze. One guy went in there with a broken arm and he came up with a banana splint. <laughs> I don't know, Harold. Moose Thompson says Dr. Tasty Freeze is great. <laughs> Come on! Moose Thompson, he's just faking it for the ice cream. I'm no doctor, but I don't think a peanut buster brownie parfait is any cure for gout. <laughs> Do you want anybody operating on you that has, like, plastic cutlery and straws? Well, I just like the idea of going to somebody named Dr. Tasty Freeze. <laughs> well, you won't when you feel how cold his finger is. <laughs> Guard Sergeant here, animal control, showing you how to maintain man's dominance of the wild beasts. And speaking of wild beasts... Come on in here, Red. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you got for us today, Gar? Well, uh, I'm going to uh, show you something special today, oh, Red. Oh, great, great. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity yep. to show you how to get a deer out of your house. Holy <laughs> mackerel! Wow! 
<laughs> well, uh, don't worry, Red. It's, uh, it's really not that hard to get a deer out of your house. It's uh, a lot easier than, say, getting a muskrat out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. All I need is a, a flashlight. A bright flashlight. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Sort of like a, a headlight. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. The way like a deer. Uh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. The way a deer will freeze in the headlights of your car. Exactly. <laughs> All right, deer. Where are you? Oh, great. Drinking out of my aquarium. Freeze. Gotcha. Hello, deer. I'm home. Easy now, easy. Get out there. Uh. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Don't do that. Uh. Holy mackerel. All right. Wow. Now. That's good work. All I do. Yeah. Is take him back out into the woods there. All right. And uh, keep a step back. I so would. So I don't get kicked by his hooves. Yeah. And then I just turn off the flashlight. For oh, gosh sakes. Boy, that works great. It sure does. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Might yeah. even uh, work just as well on you, Red. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh! What, what, what? Ow! Oh! 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 Welcome to the expert portion of the show. And this week on the expert portion of the show, we have two experts, my Uncle Red and his best friend, Mr. Dalton Humphrey. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, here's the letter here. It goes as follows. Dear experts, all righty. Um, what is an appropriate wedding gift when it's the third time around for the groom and the fourth for the bride? <laughs> But one of them do-it-yourself divorce kits. <laughs> Got a little sign on there, some disassembly required. <laughs> no, Red, when, uh, when a wedding is, uh, is the nth time around like, like this one is, uh, you, you, you want to get something that'll capture the, the, the feelings of the bride and groom. All right. Now, I, I would suggest something uh, used. <laughs> say in the antique business, previously enjoy. Uh, well, I, I would think that when a couple's been married a lot of times, too, you know, they've already got all the wedding gifts. I mean, what are you going to do with a dozen toasters, eh? I guess you could heat your house. Yeah, well, what settings are you going to put them on? Well, if it's night, you set it for dark. You, 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 you know, a couple that's been married before uh, may, may not be as uh, hard to shop for as you think. You know, especially if they've been wiped out in a previously messy divorce. Oh, I know. Great device for somebody who's had a terrible personal tragedy like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything. They'll take anything. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love that. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sad, though. It's yeah, sad. Well, yeah. <laughs> God, it's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awful. That sounds terrible. You're so cynical. You make marriage sound so cheap and cold and used. No, no, no. Not used, Harold. Previously, Previously enjoyed. enjoyed. <laughs> Charles Harble here, animal control. You know, contrary to popular folklore, Bats will not suck the blood out of your body. That's your boss's job. <laughs> well, our medical crisis is over. Dr. Tasty Freeze was a huge success. As soon as he started using the thermometer with a big maraschino cherry on the top, everybody said, oh, no, no, I'm feeling fine. Thank you. Anyway. I think Dr. Tasty Freeze is going back to being a bartender. I went in for my hernia checkup, and he asked me if I wanted it with a twist. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. Junior Sinkman found us a doctor over in Port Sandbar. Dr. Tuna or Dr. Too Fun or something. Dr. Tune Up? Dr. Tune Up, yeah. Uncle <laughs> okay, Red, that, that's not a doctor's office. That's a garage for cars. Oh, well, all I know is he got his plugs, points, and fluids done for 1995, and they fixed his car. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting time, Uncle Red. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll be down in a minute there, Harold. Okay, all righty. 
My wife is watching. I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. I want you to know I am feeling great for a man of my age, and I just kind of curious about how you feel for a woman of your age. <laughs> and to the rest of you, thanks so much for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. For more information on Red, Green, and Possum Lodge merchandise, call 1-800-Y-Possum or find us on the internet at www.redgreen.com. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy, this is too much!